joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Ben Plummer. He is the CEO at Invisible Technologies. Ben, fantastic to have you on Floor Talk. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. My Great pleasure. to be here. My pleasure. So I want to start off by talking about the company. Tell me about Invisible Technologies and how the company helps solve problems for customers. So we help the world's most innovative companies solve their most op hard operational challenges. And we do that by combining AI, automation, and a workforce of experts of over 5,000 people around the globe, all into one integrated platform. We work with companies like OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, helping build foundational AI models and leading enterprises and startups, helping them solve their operational challenges, leveraging AI. Now, Ben, tell me, what are the top three to five things needed for successful AI integration? Look, I think it always starts with the people. And I think this has been one of the biggest challenges for organizations is they don't have the talent within their organization to really drive this AI transformation. And it's not just a CTO or a head of AI. You're really talking about sort of across the executive suite, the capabilities to really imagine a completely different business that is sort of AI first across the enterprise. And so I'd say talent's definitely number one. I'd say data is second, that you know, enterprises are sitting on huge amounts of proprietary data that's really valuable if you can get them into these AI models, can train on them. But most companies haven't really been prepared for leveraging this data. And so they're stuck trying to extract it out of their legacy systems and prepare it for using these technologies. And then I'd say third is a really clear vision of what they want to do, that you don't sort of get stuck in this problem of building AI for AI's sake, that you really start with a really clear vision of where you want to go and start building towards that. I'd say those are the three most important things for companies when moving along this AI journey. And what would you say are some of the more common mistakes companies are making when it comes to AI integration? Yeah, look, in some ways it's the inverse of that, right? It's seeing companies that start without a vision and to start sort of implementing these technologies without a clear understanding of what problem they're trying to solve. And so really making sure they work backwards from an understanding of where they're trying to go. I'd say second is, the proliferation of all these different technologies. There's so many AI tools that are coming out every day. There's one new piece of technology and really not thinking about how they all come together and how they actually make their employees' lives easier or make their customers' lives easier and create a real mess very quickly. And then third, I'd say, um, is really choosing the wrong partners, that as they're thinking about who they're working with, every company in the world is trying to rebrand themselves as some sort of AI company at the moment and really making sure they do their due diligence on who they're partnering with, what are their actual credentials and capabilities in the space. And finally, Ben, tell me, what do you predict to be AI's biggest impact on the workforce in the next few years? Look, I think the most exciting part of the, the impact on the workforce is really unlocking the creativity and innovation. We spend so much of our time today on boring routine tasks, sort of moving around bits of information and really only a small part of our time on the creative sort of inventive part of our jobs, AI has the potential to flip that on its head, to spend 80, 90% of our time coming up with new ideas, inventing things, and letting AI really handle the execution. I think that's gonna unlock a huge wave of creativity and innovation as people really start to leverage these technologies. And of course, I think we're gonna see shifts in the types of skills and capabilities that are required as we do with any sort of change in technology. But really, I think what we're gonna see is a, a huge unlocking of creativity and innovation. Well, Ben, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thanks for having me.